Um, so I guess let's talk about uh, the new album first of all. Um, yes, sir. So first one with band um, instead of solo. Yeah. Um, I guess you know that's that's kind of a, a big jump in a certain way. Um, was there any kind of fears of doing the album with the band in comparison to doing it solo? No, oh, interesting, man. Um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say as much like fears as much as it is kind of like extra motivations because you know before obviously you want to do your best with recording an album and oftentimes i think you're pretty convinced that you are even if in retrospect that's not the case but uh with this one i was pretty like i suppose i was more confident than in the past because i was really terrified of the idea that i would get in the studio and there'd be a part that i wasn't playing well and in my head i would know like hey you should have worked harder so like for the for the few months leading up to recording i was legitimately playing guitar a couple hours a day. Mm-hmm. So once I came, uh, get in there, there was a little bit of confidence. I was like, you know what? I did my best on it. Um, and then ex- like having the extra motivation of having other people that you want to live up to their expectations and them to challenge you. Yeah, I think it was, it was a positive thing. I mean, it's, it's definitely, you know, a growing experience to go from just writing on your own. And then all of a sudden you have these extra people, like three bandmates, but also Brad that did the record, you know, giving you some suggestions. And it was really, it was really cool to be, collaborating like that um a lot of the songs were were written and uh like when i was just solo with you know a full band in mind but uh a couple of them towards the end were uh you know more collaborative with the other guys and it was really exciting to be uh you know lay that down and have something that we did together yeah well and i i guess that also that's probably the best thing about you know having the band instead of just being solos you have this whole new option of kind of uh open for creativity and then doing you know different collaborations and now um you kind of have different i guess influences to spin from and and different ideas and that kind of stuff oh absolutely man like we've been we've been working on writing new stuff now and i'm realizing that you know like elsewhere as a record is you know you know 90 percent of kind of those guys helping me do what i wanted to do but now that we're writing new stuff, like Matt, our bass player, he's bringing a lot of it. Um, he's had a you know a pretty, pretty heavy year, and he's really motivated. So like it, it, it's almost kind of like this next album is going to be the first one that's like actually collaborative. Yeah. You know, like we're only kind of learning how to be interactive and creative together now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that that's really cool. Um, and I guess you know how has the the live response been to the songs from this album so far? really good like uh we played uh, last night here in winnipeg and um it, it feels good to you know we get comments uh often that it, it can you know it can get kind of intense and um and i like that i like being able to you know as many people say the whole ethos is you know it doesn't matter how many people you're playing to each night like you play with the same intensity and you play them with the same dedication and i very much believe that and uh thankfully with this album like i it, doesn't feel hard to do that just because i can connect to it so uh intensely and emotionally and um you know like it wasn't really in you know on purpose but there is quite a bit of death on the record and uh, even last night talking with somebody it, it feels really good to we play a song about my friend david who was killed um by a car a few years ago and for people to come up and us to be able to bond over like you know, a communal loss is is important and it feels really good like last night somebody mentioned oh it made me think of this friend of mine and uh you know if that's how we can connect with people like i'm really appreciative of that yeah well i think music is is probably the most important thing to be able to connect people and it's the thing that people always kind of end up um yeah just just i guess people will tell you more whenever it's like you know the dead of the night and you're listening to a record or something um absolutely and so i guess finally you guys are playing some shows coming up um one of them being puza fest so that's exciting mm-hmm. very much so um and have you i guess played uh you've played around that area before in montreal uh yes sir um this will be my third time at puza fest but uh only the first time really uh, officially, uh, the first year, Mike, who uh, a bunch of our guys, uh, I have Sean from the Old Wives and my friend Mike filling in uh, for this riff out to Pootsie Fest, and then the other guys are flying to Montreal and meeting me there. And the first year, Mike and myself, we flew out just to attend the festival. In 2015, um, we had just finished touring Europe and flew back and 
I played like an unofficial acoustic show, okay. but this is the first time like really being on uh, the lineup. So it's a really kind of cool personal check mark for me to have. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and, and then I guess just finally, uh, where can people check out the music um, information, that kind of stuff? Um, yeah, if you uh, go online, like we uh, started working with a, a record label. Part of the reason that it took a, you know, a full year to wait to put out uh, the album as we are working with a record label called Gunner Records, which we're very lucky to say we're on, who used to, uh, you know, put out the Gaslight Anthem and Frank Turner and are oh, currently, yeah, yeah. you know, currently have like Red City Radio and the World Inferno Friendship Society, a lot of great bands. So if you go to GunnerRecords.com, you can order uh, vinyl and CDs through uh, their European distribution. Um, and uh, if you want to find us online, there's WorstDaysDown.Bandcamp.com. And um, or us on Facebook, Instagram, and all that good stuff. All right. Thanks, Ben. Hey, thanks for taking the time to talk with me, Arn. Yeah, have a good one. You too.